fairy tale ending. She feels herself awaken, become aware. Shouldn't there be more birds? The birds always sing just for her. Where are the rabbits? They always cuddle up to her when she sleeps. She's cold. The cabin doesn't seem to hold warmth anymore. Where is everyone? She tries to sit up, but hears an eerie tearing sound. A crack. Agony blooms in her back, as if the pain is a tulip on the first day of spring. Sudden, without much warming, more pain, her arms. Do they, her arms, even move? She can't see. She can feel anything beyond the pain. She tries to call for help, but there's something lodged deep in her throat, more pain, a heavy, racking cough. It dislodges and finally she can open her eyes. On the floor of a familiar but suddenly decrepit cabin, she lies. Holes on the roof, moss on the windowsill, the kitchen overgrown with vines, no animals through and no growth of anything around where she slept. Slept? For how long? What happens to her friends? To her? Out of the corner of her eye, she sees wisps of gray hair, where it used to be a luscious black. She tries once more to get up, feels her wrist breaking under the pressure, sees the brittle bone sticking out of her alabaster skin, she remembers the dear old lady. She remembers the dear old lady. She turns her head painfully and sees the bite of shiny red apple she coughed up. <laughs>